Broken air conditioners and hot classrooms. Several schools were on minimum day schedule today because of the sweltering heat. KCAL's Jeff Nguyen is live in Granada Hills. Tough to concentrate in school when it's so hot, Jeff. Certainly, Juan, and that is why a number of students here tell us that they had lunch indoors today. This on the same day when classes ended early at a dozen schools where a number of classrooms did not have air conditioning. My classroom has no AC. It just has a portable fan. It gets to 97 degrees in there. Fifth grader Samantha Melendez and her family held up signs outside Haskell Elementary School in Granada Hills Monday. Her mom kept her and her younger sister home from school after their classrooms lost air conditioning on Friday. Across the LA school district, 12 campuses went to a minimum day schedule because of breakdowns in air conditioning. The district says portable units were brought in and all district policies and procedures were followed and the temperature of every room with students was measured to be within district guidelines. Don't give us portable airs. Give us a fix. Don't give us a band-aid. In Mission Hills, this LA City crew wore sun hats working in triple digit temperatures. City provides us with a packets of electrolytes to keep us uh, hydrated and pretty much water and, and electrolytes uh, does the job for us out here. Over at the animal shelter in Van Nuys, Veronica Perry reminds us to make sure to let our garden hose cool off before we use it for our pets. And she says don't go on walks if the pavement is hot. I recommend taking your shoes off and test the pavement with your foot. If it feels hot, too hot to walk, it's definitely going to feel the same for the dogs. Back at Haskell Elementary, Mia and Emily Fortune both say they had AC on Monday and they didn't really want for school to end early. I got to talk to my friends and it was fun. I would actually like to stay in school longer because we are reading Charlotte's Web, a very good book, and I want to read another chapter. At this point, it is unclear when all of the air conditioning will be restored. The district says that students in the impacted classrooms have been moved into ones with air conditioning. We are live in Granada Hills, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. And I agree with that young mm -hmm. lady. Charlotte's Webb is a great book. Yep.